advantages of monetary unit sampling mus when the auditor expects a minimal misstatement mus usually results in a smaller sample size than classical variable sampling so when, when we are considering the advantages we are comparing and contrasting to another method that can be used classical variable sampling as a compare and contrast the mus will result in a smaller sample size that being a benefit because it results in less testing for us so if we can get uh, results that we need with a smaller sample that's typically what we want to do when monetary unit sampling is applied using the probability proportional to size procedure it automatically results in a stratified sample so we already have that uh, within the process does not require the user to make assumptions about the distribution of misstatements so we're eliminating an, an assumption which is nice as well because anytime we have the assumptions there's room for errors to be made monetary unit sampling disadvantages disadvantages include the selection of zero or negative balances also often requires special design considerations so given the way we're setting this up in terms of the monetary unit type calculations and in, in essence a zero or negative balance can throw things off and so that therefore can mess things up the selection of a zero or negative balance then often requires some kind of special consideration when more than a small amount of misstatements are detected the sample calculations may overstate the allowance for sampling risk so one more time when more than a small amount of misstatements are detected so we have over a small amount of distakes distakes uh, misstatements the sample calculations can overstate the allowance for sampling risk